Hi, I'm Dr. Jonathan Middleton. I'm a professor of composition and music theory. I'd like to talk today about how I compose music. And I like to compose music by connecting with nature and numbers. And I do that by converting nature, uh, data from nature and numbers into musical melodies. And then I shape those melodies into musical compositions. I just wanted to demo a really simple example of how I do that. Uh, I'll show you here on the piano a little bit, and then I'll move to my software that enables me to transform numbers into melodies. Uh, this process is called algorithmic composition. Algorithms are not common to music. They're more common to computer science and mathematics. Uh, but there has been uh, lots of great progress in merging those two fields, computer science and mathematics with music, and it offers all kinds of neat creative opportunities. Let's take, for example, the numbers 1, 2, 3. And if I took those numbers and mapped them to a melody space on the piano that we call a major third, you probably understand the translation of 1, 2, 3, or the mapping to this pretty simple. The numbers ascend, and so do the pitches. But let's say, for example, I expand that space, that destination span, to an octave. That's the octave. Well, one, two, three would suddenly become, which is quite different from. If I have the numbers one, two, three, one, one, three, one, you might hear, Now you can get a sense of how the numbers can translate into different pitches and create some different effects, and maybe inspire a composer to do different things. If I expand the range even further to the full length of the piano, I might get something like this, which is also kind of wacky and strange. So algorithms can do that. In my next sequence, I'm going to move to the software I use, which was um, designed by myself but programmed by uh, EW students. And it's freeware. You can find it online at musicalgorithms.org. And I will show you how I, through a simple set of clicks, you can create a melody from numbers or data from nature like genetics and the genetic code. Here's an example uh, with the software at musicalgorithms.org where I will show you how to translate numbers or genetic code into melodies. Uh, this is musicalgorithms.org, and if I refresh this page, you'll see how it loads. Uh, it was developed by myself and uh, teams of computer science uh, programmers. Here is um, a simple example. Uh, first thing we're going to do is map uh, integers to a musical range. And one of the easiest uh, integer sets to work with is the sine wave curve. And I'll take, let's say, 50 values of that. You can see that there are, starts on zero and ascends and then descends down uh, into the negative range. Uh, here is a uh, graphic of the sine wave curve with the equation. Our melody is actually going to start here, and it's probably not going to sound very melodic because it's just going to be an ascending set of notes and then a descending set of notes. And we'll get back to seeing how that works here. First thing we need to do is choose an in instrument range. And the piano, some of you may know, if you look at the left-hand side of this graphic, has 88 keys. Uh, you can almost see the bottom of my graph there. Can't quite get high enough. But uh, here is middle C at 40. Notice I'm not using MIDI numbers. I'm using the real numeric order of the keyboard keys. Uh, so I'll make that 88 here. Whoops, I should say 88. There we go. And I have to kind of refresh that box to get those numbers looking just right. So here we're starting around middle C. We're going to ascend up to the top of the piano and come 
down to the lowest keys of the keyboard and then they will send back up. Uh, next thing we should do is uh, take care of the rhythms or durations and what we have here is um, the same uh, numbers from the sine wave graph but we could use something else if we wanted we could use you know uh, integers from pi if we want uh, it, it's up to up to the composer uh, for now what I've done however is I've pretty much limited uh, our durations just for this simple example um, by choosing uh, quarter note values I've numbered um, various durations 0 through 9 and that is what we're using right here is just quarter notes so we're going to be listening to a pretty um, standard set of durations. Uh, next thing we can do is listen to um, the results, the pitch results, uh, slightly modified to fit what, what we call the chromatic scale. It's all the white keys and black keys on the keyboard. And then uh, with the final results, what we should try to do here is uh, hear them on the piano. And I'll bring down the tempo just a little bit. And here we go. This is the chromatic scale um, playing um, the sine wave curve. So there you go, a very simple example. We could give this a little bit more um, energy if we were to um, you know, make the results adhere to maybe a blues scale. Uh, maybe we want to have some kind of fun timbre, like, uh, I don't know, we'll try a, a vibraphone, see how that sounds. It, it, it's outside the vibraphone range, but this is all just for fun. share with you is possibility of mixing up the rhythms so let's try um, let's try shaking up the rhythms a little bit here I won't explain the mapping systems but this is a lot like a mercator projection where it's proportionately mapped as I said before low numbers adhere to um, lower um, you know lower numbers on the rhythmic scale so that would be shorter durations and higher numbers adhere to longer durations. So let's see if we can, um, did I refresh that? I think I did. Okay, so let's hear how that sounds. This is a bluesy version of this. We'll stay with the piano for now and we'll have a little bit more rhythmic variety. These notes up here will sound longer. So let's try um, hearing that now. Great. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. In our, my next demo, I think what I'll do is share with you how uh, I use biological data, uh, DNA, RNA, protein structures. Um, there's all kinds of fun things we can do, and that will be in my next uh, demo. So thank you very much for listening, and I hope you have a, um, a chance to try this software, either for teaching or for learning or for composing. Hello, I'm 
Jonathan Middleton, Professor of Theory and Composition at Eastern Washington University. And this is part two or of the demos that I'm uh, creating for music algorithms. And you can uh, see from this image that we're looking at a uh, what's a called a protein structure, which is very familiar to microbiologists. And what I'd like to demo today is how do we convert uh, a protein structure into musical ideas. Uh, this is a structure that relates to the uh, blue mussel. Um, it's a wonderful sea creature with lots of great attributes. And what we see here in the red boxes is what we call the amino acid chain. And these amino acids, uh, according to biologists, can be more or less resistant to water. And I have a way of converting uh, those uh, amino acids into a, uh, a numeric sequence. And when I do that, here, here's the amino acid chain right here. And I will I'll paste that in to this. And there it is. And I will convert it into numbers based on the what's called the hydrophobicity scale. And you can see now I've got some positive integers, negative integers. They're kind of all over the place, de dependent on what the amino acid is. But every N you should see is a 9. And uh, here's another N, and here's another 9. And, and every Y is uh, negative 7, and so forth. Uh, I'm going to uh, scale this to a very, rather high instrument range and on the piano, and I'm going to shape the uh, durations to a very rapid fire um, six set of sixteenth notes. And I'll click on this box to show you there's a zero value in the durations box rela relates to uh, sixteenth notes. And uh, it's kind of fun to use a blue scale for this example. Um, blue scales always sound kind of nice. And uh, let's hear uh, the blue muscle protein now um, with the, a very rapid tempo. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like it enough or if you like the results that you get, you can always click download MIDI and you get a nice MIDI file which you can import into some uh, music software and see how it's notated. Uh, if you want to try some other biological data, you know, feel free to look at the DNA. Whoops. Uh, you can look at DNA, uh, RNA, and other structures. They're not too hard to find. Uh, there's a lot of uh, this is a data bank, so for proteins, but there's also um, data banks for DNA as well, called NCBI. I hope from these examples you feel inspired and you can see how you can expand your creative boundaries by connecting musical ideas to nature and numbers. Thank you.